Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Man Cave Stuff. I am your host and tour guide, Jackbox Creations. So guys, recently I picked up, for the first time in a very, very long time, a new NBA jersey. I actually became a Nets fan around 2012. Um, actually a little earlier than that when I found out that they were moving to Brooklyn. To be honest, after a couple not so great trades and moves by management, uh, the team was just not looking too pretty and I knew that we were going to be stuck for a while with some players that really weren't going to be able to do anything. Then when ad patches made their way into the league, um, you guys know how much of a jersey enthusiast I am. I just love the aesthetics of uniforms in general. So when that started coming around, that really started to, to tinge my, my love. But then Kevin Durant came to the team. And he, uh, I'm telling you, this guy is, he's amazing. He's just, he's doing some damage. He's, he's here, hopefully, to stick around for a little while. So I, I started to watch the team again. Here today, we have the unboxing of the latest model of the Brooklyn Nets Nike Vaporknit jersey. All right, so I, I already opened the bag here. And here's the jersey. Didn't come in anything spectacular, just this simple gray bag. Presentation is, is very important to me. They didn't seem to do a whole lot here. Here we have it. This is a very good feeling jersey. It just feels good in the hands. Here we have the taped neckline striping. They, they changed this out instead of the elastic rib knit material of old. The numbers have small perforations here. Apparently that has to do with breathability. I'm not quite sure how, but I mean, it looks kind of cool. We've got Durant, of course, in the twill stitch, or as Nike calls it, power twill. The embossed NBA emblem which is heat pressed into the material. Uh, the jersey retails for 200. We have some illegalese jargon. I picked up a size 56, which is a 2XL. Apparently Nike did away with their connectivity jot tag. So, as I mentioned to you guys, it's been a while since I have followed the Nets. Um, I still, I never fell out of love necessarily with the NBA. I've always watched the playoffs and the finals, of course. It's just my team, the Nets, and I was a Sixers fan also. Uh, neither one of my teams were doing much of anything. So I just, I kind of just fell back and enjoyed the rest of the league. Well, back when I used to actually follow the Nets, uh, I was I was big into Joe Johnson and Brooke Lopez. Brooke Lopez was my guy. Um, and I actually have a Brooke Lopez Adidas jersey. So just a quick side-by-side -side to take a look at both the Nike and the Adidas jersey, just to kind of see how much things have changed over the years. Not a huge difference. The Adidas, of course, on this side. Nike on this side here. Looks like the numbers are about the same. The Brooklyn, uh, the size of the chest logo, looks about the same size. This was a jersey from, I believe, um, around 2012. The logo here is embroidered into the material.
You know, as I have shared with you guys, I'm not a huge fan of advertiser patches, but the reality is it is what players are wearing on their jersey. So just for the sake of uh, comparison to see what it would look like, I have the current patch of the Brooklyn Nets, which they just signed a deal with Motorola. They, they see it somewhere here. Now, I'm not saying I'm going to add it to my jersey, but just to see what it looks like because when you see Kevin Durant on the court and the rest of the Brooklyn Nets, they are going to be wearing this advertiser patch. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this episode. As you see, I stayed true to my word and I didn't add the ad patch. It's not to say that I, I might not add it later on. Maybe I'll add it and, and put a, an X over the, the ad patch. Who knows? Unfortunately, guys, I, I, I hesitate to recommend you guys picking up one of these jerseys. As I was uh, posing for some, some pictures to show you guys, I looked down and I noticed that the, the base of the jersey, where the, the double stitch hem is, it actually started to unravel. That's, that's not a good sign for a jersey that you guys just saw, I literally just picked up. Is that an issue that you guys have had? Have you noticed any flaws in your jerseys that you've picked up lately? Let me know in the comment section. My question for you guys this week, what team looks like a contender? We already know the Lakers are probably going to be in it. What other team seems to be like uh, on the uprise? Thanks again guys for watching. If you want to support the channel, check out the Man Cave Stash on Etsy. Like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you next time on Man Cave Stuff.